I didn't. Let that marinate. I um, initially, when my mom passed, of course, uh, she had been ill. Um, I guess it was showing itself for seven years. I can remember the day she passed out at work. She had dropped me at school, science fair, fifth grade. She dropped me at school, had my big project. And she went on to work and passed out. And that's when they found out that there were some things going on with her. So with the course of that from being 11 to the time that I was 18, she progressively got worse until she passed, um, which was a month after my high school graduation, um, right before I was getting ready to start college. So imagine that I am this nerd. I am college bound. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. You know, my mom, Church of God in Christ evangelist. Well, and so yeah, I was raised up in the church all day, every day. And so um, you got on a nice little cozy skirt. Today. I did. I did that. I did that for y'all. Because Lord knows I retired those. But um, amen and amen for the television. Um, um, but I, um, I really, I, I went through those years and here I am out of high school. And, um, even though I knew what was coming and so I knew it was coming. So it was like, okay, I know at some point this is going to happen, but here I am at 18. What do I do? Yeah. You know, I, am. Um, I have to go through life. I mean, I'm a girl and it's just, I'm one of two children and my brother, you know, he's four years older than me. So he's kind of started life already doing his thing. And here I am, you know, motherless. So I had to figure out life. And let me tell you, I've made probably every and all poor decision along the way. Um, if it was out there, I, I, I probably did it. Um, a month later, I was pregnant. And they were like, no, not church girl, because they literally called me church girl. Um, um, yes, church girl was pregnant. Um, but I kept going to school, crying baby in tote. Um, but I, I, I didn't know what to do. I was still, and despite what everyone may think, at 18, you're still a child you're still a child. So I didn't really know anything about life. I'd been home. I, you know, I'd never lived on my own, but I went, I got pregnant. I got married. I did all these things that I thought I was supposed to do because I heard others mention earlier because we were churched. This is what we're supposed to do. And even though in my heart of hearts, no, I, I, no, I really love him. So this is what we're doing. But really that was a lot of doctrine down in my soul saying, okay, this is just the right thing to do. So did that, had a failed marriage, was divorced by 21. I mean, it, it was all of these things I went through and I did not know what to do, but I was making it up as I went along. And not that my, not that my parents weren't married all the way um, through, it was just, I, I, I didn't know. You know, as a kid, you're not taking notes on a good marriage from your parents. Right, right. You just, you exist. So um, it was, you know, my mother passed. I cried, you know, the day I was there, my, my mom passed. Now don't give it away because it's a you in grief. Yes. Volume two, volume two. Oh, she's going to be in there. Amen. She's not in this one, but she's in the next one that's coming out Black Friday. So, right. so well, give you, what's your three points? For the, for the people of God? Well, my three points um, is that God really turned my grief into relief. Um, and he did that because even in my grieving, um, and what you'll read in the book, um, is, is that um, when I finally did grieve, because it's one thing crying, and it's another thing grieving. Yeah, say it. So when I finally did grieve, um, I had to turn that grief 
into something else and realize that everything that my mother had given me, she had really equipped me to be successful. Um, and as I was sharing with one of my sisters um, a few days ago, it really, re another point that I would say is he changed those annual reminders into something beautiful instead of something sad for me because I was able to really, again, look back and say, there are so many nuggets that she dropped in me and she was prepping me and God was prepping me through her. And I didn't know that just from my lack of maturity. Yeah. So I can look back and thank God for all those things that he dropped in me through her. And then finally, um, I learned through all of this to keep living, that I could not die with her. And I had to keep living, keep breathing. That's so good. Even when the breathing was shallow, I had to keep breathing. Like that. Okay. And, and I had to remember that. And, and even I, I lost my father this year as well. And so it took me back to remember what do I need to do to push through this? Cause I, I went through a slump with that cause it was a whole other situation, but God reminded me that my grief is relief. My parents set me up to be successful and I wanted to make sure that I honor them by remembering the great times, the good times, everything they gave me and, and living out the dreams that I had and that they supported me through it all this time. I love it. I love it.